this is Calvin with Maker Fixes, makerfixes.com. And here with a little another uh, tidbit on um, how to make your 3D printer run better. Well, I'm here is the next three I've been working on. And ignore my mess in the background. I got three projects going on at one time here. And uh, on, on, this is my hot end here. Right here. Okay. And this big hole, you can see right here is a big hole. That's where the uh, heater cartridge goes. That's this right here. And it has a little Allen set screw that you put in there and tighten it down. But what this video is about is how to get this thermistor in there. Uh, this came and this thermistor was sitting out on the edge here and not, that's the way it came when it was shipped. And that can happen to them. They had some um, Krypton tape here and it came off and it didn't hold it in there. So, this is, can be used to hold it down, but I prefer using another method here. Uh, I'm going to move your thing here because I got, there we go. If you're installing a new one or, or fixing one that you've already built, most of the time these cheap kits don't come with anything but a little tape out there to hold that in that little hole. And this uh, thermistor here will fix up your temperature. I actually goes, let me get a smaller pointer here, into this small hole over here. What I found is one of the best ways to keep that in there is to use uh, what's called uh, silicate, sodium silicate. Okay. Uh, now that's a big fancy chemical name. And uh, well, don't panic. It's, you know, it's, not a, it's not behind the Walmart counter or something. Uh, you can actually get it at a auto parts store. Here in the United States, uh, we call it an exhaust system joint crack sealer or a muffler patch. It's a little fluid. It's uh, it's real cheap. I think I paid three dollars for this tube. It might have been might have been four, but I think I paid three for it. And as you can see, you know, the size of that hole and the size of this, you know, one tube will last you for well um, a lot of prayers. Okay, a lot of prayers. Now, if you have a um, syringe, you could probably use a syringe and fill this hole up. Uh, I don't have a syringe, and I don't want to go wait for a syringe. So what I'm going to actually do here is just dip a little out of here and push it in on the hole right there. Okay. And I'm actually going to take a uh, piece of filament here and push it and stuff the hole. Trying to get enough in there to make sure we have a good... Now, if you got a new, if you're putting a new thermistor on, you'll see I got some little uh, PF, P PTF uh, uh, tubing on here. It has to have tubing on here. It'll sort out. It will not work. Uh, make sure you put that on before you put this in here. Okay. And I've got that going in there pretty good there. So, always have a paper towel to paint up your mess. Your screwdriver is usable later on. It'll hard to it. There you go. Now I'm going to just take this, slide the uh, heating cartridge in there and find that hole in there, which is, it's in there. Okay, and I keep that in place. Snug up my heating cartridge. If you're just doing the thermistor and the heating cartridge doesn't have an issue yet, just lay it on the table. And you're good for two hours. Now, you want this to dry for a couple hours just like this, okay? Before you do anything with it. This has got to set up. And let me get that snug a little bit so it's ready for later. That's good. That's ready. Okay. Make sure you put your cap back on this. Put this away for the next time you buy a 3D printer or next time you have to install a hot end. And there you go. You're good for, I guarantee, unless you are building hundreds and hundreds of 3d printers that's good for years okay now you're not quite done yet first of all let's clean up our mess here probably isn't going to help us on the outside i don't know doesn't hurt it but now this stuff here this stuff here can go to a pretty high temperature and what it does is actually takes out the temperature, whatever's around it, muffler, hot end, whatever, 
and will now conduct it to the thermistor. Uh, th this fixes problems like the thermistor not touching or moving around or your tape coming off like it did on this machine and it just falling out. That thermistor is pretty much in there now. Uh, less chance of that thermistor getting broke. There we go. And now, what I'm going to do here after about two hours from now, I'm going to turn this machine on and preheat this thing. Oh, probably uh, for PLA or ABS, it don't make much difference, I don't think. And let it run for about 15 minutes to heat that up. That'll set that silicate up there real good and be ready to go for you. Okay. I hope this helps. Uh, if you like what you see here, click down before, below and subscribe or like the, the video. And uh, check out my website, makerfixes.com. Uh, I'm adding more and more content all the time. And uh, I uh, hope you enjoyed it.